Welcome to a lesson on Japanese multiplication. Now, this is really exciting for me because one of my students actually almost fell off their chair when they saw this demonstrated earlier. So I hope you're going to find it equally um, enthralling. Okay, so what we've got here are 12 times, we've got 12 multiplied by 23 to look at. And what we do in Japanese multiplication is that we represent the number 12 by vertical lines. So you can see here's the one and here's the two. And then we go and do a similar thing, but just horizontally for the 23. So we have the two and then the three. Okay. And then it's just really simple. You start on the bottom right corner and you just count the number of intersections. So in this case, there's six here. Okay. There's four here. There's three here and there's two here. And the way that it's all divided up is that um, this represents a number. We go diagonally for the second number, and then this is the third number. So we start from the bottom right, as I said, and the answer is six, seven, two, two, seven, six. Okay, so you can see this diagonal, we add up these two, um, which is seven um, intersections altogether, and then two here. So the answer is actually 276. And if you don't believe me, we can go and do it by some long multiplication. So 12 multiplied by 23, We've got 2 times 3, which is 6. 1 times 3 is 3. Put the 0 in. We've got 2 times 2, which is 4, and 1 times 2, which is 2. And then we just add up. So we've got 276. Isn't it just amazing? I absolutely love it. Okay. Um, I hope you also love it too. And let's go and do another one. Now, this one's a little bit more um, challenging, and I'll show you why. Okay. So, but not really. 31. It's not really challenging at all. Okay. So we've got, and then we've got 14. 1 two, three, four. There's just something that you need to know. Okay, so I'll explain this in a second when I get the intersections. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've got one, two, three, four here. And then we've got intersections here. Okay, so we're going to divide them up in exactly the same way. So bottom right, diagonal, and then top left okay now i'm going to count the intersections starting from the bottom right again so i've got four here um i'm just doing pink so it stands out a bit better so i've got four and um, here now i've got three six nine twelve thirteen the double digits so what we do when we get a double digit is we actually just carry that first digit okay so like we do when we do one multiplication okay um when we do the column method okay and then here we've got three but we'll obviously add on the one to make four carry the one over okay so the answer apparently the answer is four three four shall we go and check it okay so 31 multiplied by 14 we've got one times four we've got three times four we've put zero in we've got one times one we've got three times one and it looks like it's heading there doesn't it four three four again it's worked isn't it just amazing now my year seven class who i taught this to earlier they then asked me, well, does it only work for these types of numbers, these double digit numbers? What about a triple digit number? I said, right, well, let's go and investigate. So they went away and they went to investigate whether it does. And one of my super students came back and showed me this. It does actually work. OK, so we have 212 and we have 13. OK, and all we need to do then, again, I might just use this, actually. It might be a bit quicker. And put the intersections in. There we go. So they stand out. We can count them a bit easier in a, in a second. And there we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to change my colour. So I've got bottom right always by itself. Okay. Now I seem to have a mini diagonal going on there, a mini diagonal going on there, and top left. So top left and bottom right are always singular, and then you have your diagonals going across. Okay. And then so I've got six here. So we've got six. I've got one, two, three, four, five there. I've got six, seven there. And I've got two there. So it appears that the answer is two, seven, five, six. There wasn't even any carrying that needed to be done in that question. And then let's go and check it out. So 212 multiplied by 13. Does it work? Well, two times three is six. One times three is three. Two times three is six. Let's put the zero in for the tens units, uh, tens column. So two times. 1 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, add it up, and fingers crossed, it does make the same answer. So I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoy doing Japanese multiplication. I think it's very cool. 
And if we have any subscribers from Japan or who went to school in Japan and can tell us, is it true that uh, students in elementary school do actually learn this? I'd love to know. Comment below. Okay. If you're not a subscriber yet, why not? Go for it. Okay. Thanks for listening, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.